This video shows you how to create filters to reduce the app data visible in reporting output. To do this, navigate to the reporting section of your app and select the Filters tab. On the Filters tab, click Add Filter and click New Filter. Type in a name for your filter. Optionally, you can fill in the description field. Click the Add button. A search field will open. You can either scroll or search for the field, master item, or variable you want to use. In this case, we select the region field. You have several options. You can choose to exclude the selected value from the filter. You can select the override checkbox to ensure that these values are included, even if it means overriding other filters. You can toggle on alternate states for your fields and variables. Alternate states allow you to make different selections on the same dimension and compare the selections in a single visualization or in two or more visualizations side by side. In the dropdown, you can select different ways of searching or adding values to the filter. By selecting values, the values of the selected field are listed. Here you can select the values you want. By selecting Evaluate, you can type in an expression or open the Expression Editor to filter your data. By selecting Search, you can search for field values by typing in the text box. You can use wildcards, fuzzy search, and more. When you type in search terms, a preview will appear below. In this case, we select Values and we select some values from the region field. You can add more filters to the filter group by clicking on Add. Each filter can contain definitions on one or multiple fields. In this case, we're going to exclude some values in the Customers field. When done, click Add Filter. There are two ways you can use filters. First, you can use them at the recipient level in the distribution list. Filter names in a distribution list are name-matched references to existing filters created using the Filters tab in the reporting section of the app. Task-level filters are applied to all recipients and groups who receive the output of the reporting task. They are added when you create or edit the report task. Each report task can have one task level filter. You can use both task level and recipient level filters in the same report task. If a task level filter is defined, its selections are applied before any filters are applied to individual recipients. As a result, when both a task level and recipient level filter are applied in a task, the filters ultimately applied will be those that each of the individual recipient filters have in common with a task level filter. This could mean that filters applied to individual recipients could be ignored in the output. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.